Pilot Field in Buffalo, New York was the first retro classic ballpark ever constructed. Opening in 1988 as the home of the Buffalo Bisons, it would change the game and the future of stadiums for decades to come. This is Pilot Field, a trailblazer in stadium construction. Pilot Field was built from 1986 to 1988, replacing Buffalo's War Memorial Stadium as the home of the AAA Buffalo Bisons. Unlike other baseball stadiums built around this time and in the decades before, it would feature a new style of design that would become the new standard for baseball stadium construction for many years to come. The retroclassic design of baseball stadiums would incorporate modern features not found in jewel box ballparks, such as improved spacing and fan areas, while also preserving some of the atmospheric elements of them lost in the modern and multi-purpose era of baseball stadiums. Elements such as improved views, exteriors, and changes in seating layouts all laid the groundwork for this design and era. When conceived, Pilot Field was built with the hope and adaptability to eventually be the home of an MLB team. It would open as one of the largest minor league ballparks in the United States at just over 19,000 capacity, even though its initial construction was as a AAA ballpark. The new design would pay off immediately, with the Bison setting the then single season attendance record, with over 1.1 million attending in its inaugural season. Public reception was good as well, and with the stadium's initial success would come a capacity expansion to just over 21,000 in 1990. With the initial success of Pilot Field, combined with its design being expandable to MLB-level capacity, efforts would be made to have a Major League Baseball team come to Buffalo. First, a purchase of the Montreal Expos was tried, but failed. However, a more serious effort was made in 1991, when the next expansion of Major League Baseball was being considered and planned. An ownership group would try and fail in getting Buffalo a team, with the two expansion teams going to Denver and Miami to become the Rockies and Marlins. Despite not being able to secure a MLB team, more efforts would be made in the following years to get Buffalo a team, but to no avail. Despite not being able to secure an MLB team, the stadium and Buffalo would see a period of sustained prosperity. This would occur when the Bisons would become the minor league affiliate of the Cleveland Indians in 1995. The Indians, having powerhouse teams from the mid-90s to the early 2000s, would be able to have a solid farm system that would see several star players come through Buffalo. Players such as Cy Young winners Bartolo Colon and Cliff Lee were two of many players that would lead to much success on the field. From 1995 to 2005, the team would only miss the postseason twice and would win three AAA titles. Eventually though, as the novelty of the ballpark and the winning slowed down, so would attendance. Capacity at the stadium would drop from 2005 onward, going down to just over 16,500 today. Despite it looking like the stadium would never get to host an MLB team, it would finally happen in 2020, albeit unplanned. Due to the COVID pandemic, the Toronto Blue Jays weren't permitted to play in Toronto. Thus, they would play the entire 2020 season and part of the 2021 season at the stadium's current namesake, Salem Field. Even though this stadium would never get its own MLB team, it set a new standard for baseball stadiums across multiple leagues, and elements of its design would be repeated many times in the future. A trailblazer in stadium construction, this AAA ballpark certainly has filled its role well. Thank you for watching.